Morning world. Welcome to Sunday the 14th of June. Come on in. So, something a little bit different from the norm today. Um, today, we are joined by the Tyndale Archers, which is a archery group that I used to be a member of years ago, until I kind of ran out of time I think I was getting myself. To, to really get involved. Um, they are here today shooting on the old golf course, because their normal venue, which is a school, um, is unavailable to them. They can't, um, they can't shoot there. So. Uh, I was approached by the shooting captain as to whether they could perhaps practice here and we said yes. So I've let them crack on and get set up. I think the first group is in shooting now. Um, I think they're going to do it in three, three sections as I understand it so they can maintain social distancing. Uh, so we will go and perhaps have a chat with Tim and some of the archers later on. I'll do a little bit of drone footage, um, I'm quite happy to promote the club for them, so um, anybody locally who fancies having a go at archery, I will put a link uh, below to um, the group's be the Facebook page or whatever, whatever social media, whatever, whatever they want me to put on there, I'll, I'll put down there below, so um, I had quite a few very happy years throwing arrows down range and I was I was reasonable at it so but anyway that's then this is now we're off to uh, Itchington I've got a chore to do for my parents um, as usual so I'm gonna go and do that for them and then we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll see the guys throwing arrows around so it's like a plan well father's supposed to be here but he's not so I won't be doing what I came to do so the other reason is he's already done it that's sort of a padlock for the gate so anyway right okay that's that door yep that's a door Right. Okay, so tomorrow, as I understand it, there is a hole going either up there or over there with a louver going in it. Then there's another hole going up there with a dirty great big extractor fan in it. Oh, you want to play again, do you? <laughs> You want to play or not? <laughs> Make your mind up. Uh, so yeah, and they've also got to put along the top of the wall from that um, galvanised rail or zinc coated rail down. There is like a steel shield that will keep birds and vermin out and if anybody's pushing corn up and they get a bit carried away it stops it spilling outside it will just shoot it back indoors again so uh, so these walls are nine foot high which is high enough uh, we wanted something that would hold at least 300 tons of um, corn wheat barley whatever we're harvesting and then a bit so I'm kind of thinking 300 tonne will come to... Well, it's going to fill the first two bays, I think. Um, and we put probably, if you heat it up and we're really clever with it, get maybe 500 in here. Not sure. Yes, I know. So, uh, that's something we might have to look at. That was, we had some 
we had some rain, some serious rain um, on Friday. Everybody got soaked and it was blowing in through here. But it seems to be holding. So, uh, not quite sure what we can do about that. Obviously, when there's a great big door on there, water won't be blowing in. So, is your footprint still there? I bet it's gone now. Well, kind of, but not much. Right, okay, well, I can't sort the padlock out for the gate because Father's already done it. So I might just as well go home again. Go and look at some blokes chucking arrows around. Should we go and find some archers? Let's. I've closed all the gates just to make sure that our dogs don't have access to the ground out here where they are shooting arrows because I don't particularly want one of my dogs turning into a kebab. So, uh, right. Oh, there's a couple out here. Right, I've got to work out the safest way to approach. From behind, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. I heard two blows and a whistle, which means they're going to go down range. This was Cannons Court Golf Club, nice. which before was Stream Leeds Golf Club, which my father built. Uh, we sold the land in 87, or he sold the land in 87, and I bought this bit back two years ago. Okay. And we looked at maybe reopening a pitch and putt, a yes. uh, little par three, which we did um, for a short period last year, and it was okay. But people are coming in, oh, well, the greens aren't good. And it's like, well, it's been open a month. And it's like, that's, it is what it is. Yes, yeah. Target range. Yeah, yeah. So, and then we had all that rain. So we stopped because it was awful. Yeah. Well, it was like a river down through there. All the water coming off those houses oh, doesn't right. go underground. It comes all over. So it was just like quagmire. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now, of course, it's been dry. So it was, it's what, what could you do? It's, yeah, and then I had a message from Tim saying, could we throw some arrows down there? And I go, yeah, all right then. Yeah. The flag's in the wrong place. Yeah. Move it over to him. Move it over to him. Yeah. I like that. I like the policy of blaming the captain because putting the flag in the wrong place, that works. Yeah. We can, yeah, cheat, and, we can put, cheat and put arrows in near the flag if you want. <laughs> Well, I saw the photographs of your thing where somebody actually managed to skewer an arrow on top of the oh, yeah. Yeah. on top of the target. So, hmm. yeah, and if you uh... if you want to oh, right, yeah. if you shoot uh, somebody's arrow, it's called a Robin Hood if it goes in the same spot. And... Oh, does it? All right, yeah. oh, right, okay. Yeah, I could do that indoors when I was, but not so much outdoors. So. There we are. Yeah. Okay, so we've got to walk all the way back up there. Any chance you've got a golf trolley, isn't it? Look. A golf trolley? Yeah, you could, you could drive it a up. A little to. ski lift up there. Oh, it's a quad bike. Oh, <laughs> Do you want our best side or not? Uh, I, don't, I don't care. It's, it's, it's a case of, you know, usually about 90% of what I, I film. I've got a best side. I, I edit. And, <laughs> yeah, no, nor me. Apparently, my best side is from behind. Yeah. Yeah. Leaving. So according I'll, to leave the wish. You, I'll leave you to decide. Yeah. Well, that? Yeah, no, me. Oh. That's all right. It's the, it's the I'll tell you on. what, they seem to fly straight out of those. Oh, thing on the end of it. I noticed. There's no, none of that. 
Just a little bit, yeah, at the beginning. Yeah. Those, oh, well, the arrows? Yeah. yeah. Most big fletchings. Yeah. Oh, that's a private one, that one. We had um, Harrods, Air Harrods land here a year or so back. Yeah. They rang me up and said, um, Who? Air Harrods. Air Harrods have their own oh, they? helicopter service. Oh, do they? Yeah. They're delivering you some parcels? No, yeah. <laughs> no there, was a, there, was a, there was a rather posh house for sale locally. And a young millionaire from London mm. wanted to come and have a look at this posh house. So Aero Harrods rang me up and said, you, could we possibly land our helicopter? So, um, so I ended up then taking the guy, very rich young man, to the said posh house to look at, while my wife and daughters entertained the pilot, who she nicknamed Captain Gorgeous. Because <laughs> apparently he smelt wonderful. Oh, right. Yeah. He looked so, awful. Well, you, awful. no, I think he looked all right as well, but I think he just didn't smell like a dirty old farmer. No. Oh, right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, see, well, I would see. I always do one. I never do one eighty because I can't reach. But. All you want is a few Frenchmen to stand down here, really, yeah, you yeah. know. <laughs> Get some cardboard cutouts. Yeah, well, that's all right. So, it's some sort of French uniform. Oh, obviously, old, old French. You know, too new. What pound is do you reckon you're on the mark? Hey. What pound is do you reckon you're on? It's forty. Forty. Yeah, yeah I right. think that if I want to reach hundred and eighty, I need something a bit. I need to either do something drastic the with the arrows. Well, I might They're quite on. heavy, aren't they? Yeah, I'm wanting a bit stronger bow, really. Not too much. The thing is, a stronger bow, you've got to have a stronger back. Yeah, and a stronger I'm shoulder. Get a stronger bow, and, I, and I, then your arrows have to be thicker because they have to be stiffer. Yeah. And then that means they weigh more, and then you just, you're constantly chasing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think my bow's 36 pounds, something like that, which was, which is, yeah, which is all right up to 80 yards, but. I've, I've got the flag just below my hands, and that's 36 pounds. Is it? But with carbon arrows. Oh, yeah, well, that's the that's, that's same, same as I got. Yeah, as I see, that, that means no, it's no effort, really. Yeah, as long as you've got no wind coming across you. Do you know what? I've, the, on, on, the, on the cloud tournament we did last year, it was really windy, and do you know what? It didn't make any difference at all. Really? It was, it was odd. I was hard to see it, didn't it? I was, was it? really surprised. Yeah. I would have thought the lighter was arrows it? would have been more affected. Well, I, I was in there, and I, cause I, initially I went, shit, there's the wind blowing over there, I'll shoot over there. Yeah. And, it then, was... and in the end, I was, I was shooting straight at that, and they were, they were going in. Ah, yeah, well, was... Prevailing wind here is from the southwest, which is that way. So Nibley Monument is almost exactly due north from where you're standing. That's, uh, that's more or less uh, yeah. due north. Well, we were, I mean, KLB, were sort of the, we were sort of the same. We were shooting. I think we were sort of shooting. Yeah, we all... Always do the uh, tournament at KLV school. Oh yeah. On the rugby field. All oh, right, yeah, well, there's plenty of space there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, no pesky footpaths. No. But I bet you haven't seen a single walker. No. Well, uh, yeah, we. Well, I think we shot one, but. Oh, did you? Oh, <laughs> let me know. I'll bury him later. <laughs> where did we? Where did we leave him? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'll smell him later. <laughs> so where are the sheep? Uh, we took them there actually right over the other side. We took yeah. them out yesterday. So I took them out and then I just topped this bit off. We'd already cut it once, but I just tied it up again, just to tidy it up really. It needed the top taken off, the bent's taken off of it, so. And now I've had a bit of rain, hopefully it'll uh, flush again, so go green. Yeah. I'm still being nagged to open this up as a golf course again. Yeah. Well, we've got a Facebook page for it. I think it's four or 500 people sort of go, when are you going to open the golf course again? Yeah, well, you know. I could do archery golf. I've done archery golf. So yeah. Well, I mean, we we could do it. The thing is, this year we failed our TB test, uh, which meant we need to, we need all the grazing we can get because all my stock have to stay on the farm. I can't take anything to right. summer graze anywhere else. So this year, opening the golf course, the amount of work it takes to maintain it yeah. for it the revenue it comes back. If I'm lucky, I break even. And it's kind of you're breaking your back then yeah, you keep yeah. a lot of people happy but it's kind of i could be it's no good if you're not happy, though, well it's not a case of not being happy it's a case of i've got to keep the wife you know in the in the you know, manner she's become, become accustomed to you know not having to go out to work yeah is that live streaming yeah. to your house no 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 i have the power of the edit that's fine yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I sort of took myself about. I thought, I thought, you're, you're working two days a week, and I'm, I yeah. don't get 
And she's always on the internet, Rose, you know, buying stuff. Yeah. I'm just earning money, see, it's like, I don't want to do this. I've got four daughters every That's single it. day. Ah. We've got Yodel or the Post or Amazon or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then if I buy something, because I buy the occasional thing, oh, but it's yeah. usually something big like a tractor. Oh, okay. So well. I get told off that I spent too much money. Then I go, well, if you add up everything that you lot have spent for the year, you probably bought yeah. two tractors. Well, then, well, then. Yeah, but you can't sleep tractoring, can you? No. <laughs> well, you, no, no, well, you, you say, say that, you, you, you say that. And you go, I've had that for years. I have, I have actually snuck the odd tractor in and, <laughs> and, and the dumper and a few other bits and bobs. I've managed to sort of sneak in. And then uh, six months later, you go, where did that come from? I've had that for ages, love. I've had it for ages. Say I'm just storing it, looking after it for somebody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she ain't that daft. Yeah, she's actually pretty well. Well, we've been married um, 28 years, 29 years, so um, uh, yeah, she kind of knows all the tricks now. I can't get away with it. So do you as well, though? I do, yes, yeah. Well, it's an evolving thing, isn't it? You know, you learn a trick, she counters it, you have to learn a new one. Well, they seem to be enjoying themselves. I've got to go and have my lunch. Um, and what I said though is if it doesn't rain, maybe I'll put the drone up and we'll just do a little bit of footage of uh, the guys shooting and uh, then collecting at the end. So we'll see, hopefully without getting my drone shot down. That would be bad. I don't think you'll be flying the drone though. Not in that. If they've got any sense, they're all tucked up in their cars. <laughs> Pretty typical, really. I had to um, abort flying the drone because it started to rain. And now they've all packed up and got home. Sun's coming out again, but there you go. Anyway, I think the general consensus was those that came and shot enjoyed themselves. Um, I think they probably enjoyed the venue. It's quite nice. We... Um, we will probably be hosting them again a um, couple of times. We'll see how that goes. Um, but it has kind of got us thinking again with um, the whole golf course thing. Um, I don't think the golf course as a pitch and putt, nine, I don't think we can do it uh, because it takes up too much land that I need for my livestock. But if we're going to maintain a strip of ground 250 meters long for um, archery stuff like that, then we could potentially, I don't see why not, put up some targets down there and set up a shooting line at the top, sort of semi-permanent one, and just have a driving range. Uh, I'm gonna put that out on our um, Streamly's Golf Facebook page to see how people feel about that. But I think that might be the way forward for us because the archers only want to shoot maybe once or twice a month. It's not worth um, the expense in management to um, to keep that cut and tidy. Just for I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what if they, they're going to pay me for their privilege. I don't think it's going to be very much. I don't think the club can afford an awful lot, and I don't want to. I don't want to strap them because it'd be nice to support them a bit. So. Uh, but as long as it can pay the expenses and that piece of ground can kind of pay for itself, it might be a case of so many days a week golf driving range just for folks to come down and have a quiet swing, you know, from a set point and throw balls down there. Um, but that won't be a driving range where you buy a little balls. It'll be a case of you can have it by the hour and you use your own balls and you knock them down there. And I don't know, I don't know quite how that'll work um, because I've got better things to do than pick up golf balls much better so we'll see so anyway so um yes i think the archers will be back uh hopefully they'll be blessed with nice weather next time um but kind of the question was could they stay and shoot here until you no know, monthly or whatever it is till september and i've got no problem with that pardon i never got me dre they were very kind because we let them come and we let them come and she's at it again because we let them come and shoot and I wouldn't take any money for the privilege of shooting. They've, they've given me a present. I'll show you the present they give me in a minute. No, you got to start shouting, Romeo, Romeo, where art thou? Oh, no. eh? I've wondered if I jumped. It would make a right mess. If, you... if I landed on the head, 
Okay. Is the life insurance up to date? You know, if you land on the hedge, on the hedge it would probably it? hurt. I've often wondered if there was a fire, would coming out this way be an option? Uh, it would be an option. Maybe you have a staircase. Well, the idea is to maybe not that end that end it one day and put a balcony on there. But do you want a north facing balcony? At least have some shade, I suppose. We tried to build a bonkany, bonkany, a bonkany. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, do you know what? A bonkany no, sounds quite no, nice. No, I like the idea no. of that, no? You're dirty perky. <laughs> You're dirty <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Bonkany sounds quite interesting to me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, when we built this place, uh, we were advised by the planners not to put a balcony on because that's where we wanted to put it on top of the sunroom so we could actually come out of our upstairs room and sit and look at the view out there. Uh, we were told we not to go for a balcony because um, people don't like being overlooked. You got that? We couldn't put a balcony up there with a handrail because all our neighbors don't want to be overlooked. No, I don't get it either. Right, little cock. He's by himself now. Big grey cockerel is no longer here. He attacked me one time too many. Never do it again. What are you doing in there, wet dog? She's done the floor. She'll kill you if she catches you in there. This is my thank you from the archers for letting them come and uh, shoot here. Don't know if you can see that. Farmer P, thanks from Tyndale Archers, June 2020. Thank you guys, appreciate that. That's it. There's now three women in our house, two daughters and a missus. They're all together and it's like gossip and it's all of a sudden it's he said, she said, she said, he did whatever else for someone I've never heard of. And it's like, Pfft. I'm out of here. I'm not interested in that. So I have <coughs> got myself a little job to do. We will probably be shearing soon, and in that case, I would be needing to um, keep these cattle in this end of the barn. Um, I've been feeding them in the far end, but what I need to do, I need to be able to get the sheep in so I can sort them out, which could be any time, any time in the next week. So I've been waiting for them to eat that feeder down. They're pretty much there now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut these two out here into my very, very mucky yard that I really want to clean out. And it's getting to me, so it's, I'm just going to have to do it soon. I mean, I'm going to clean it out and they're going to get it mucky all over again, but it's just needs doing. So I'm going to shut them out here and then I'm going to push that bell feeder into this side in the middle because that steer is due to be due to go in the next few weeks so the idea is i'm going to use that round bell feeder i'm going to push it up towards the edge of this gate and i can then use it as a well you'll see it'll help me round him up when when the time comes so i need better shut that one so that that shut That unchained. Hello, Bramble. Don't look at me like that. Keep your head up, mate. Never like it when bulls put their heads down. He's never never offered to be aggressive or nasty, but there's always a first time. So don't pay to take your eyes off of him. Right, I need to chuck these two out. Go on. Out you go. Go on. Out. Out you go. Go on. Out. No, outside. Go on. Good chaps. Go on then. Out you go. You come back in soon. Right. Close you. that just about there so I can see where to put the feeder to and all I need to do now is move that.
Right. Number 11 has heard me. I'm just wondering. We had a bit of a storm yesterday. I don't know if we had as much rain here. It looks like we did. But that one is still nearly empty. Cattle seem to prefer the rainwater over um, tap water. So the outside layer of this bale, you can see was a bit greyer. Um, some of these bales got left out for week 10 days last year after we baled them just to make sure they sweat out when it got hot. So this, although eatable, not very palatable. So I'm going to pull the last bit off that I couldn't reach on top, which is here, and chuck it on the floor. They got a choice and you can lie on it or they could eat it kind of whichever takes their fancy.
Okay, happy with that. I mean, whatever happens, they're not going to enjoy this as much as the bell they had before. They're just, they're just not. So, um, but like I said, it is needs must um, crop of hay this year. What we've made for the same ground, um, I think the contractor was saying some folks are down nearly fifty percent on volume. So we have to take that into account that. Although there's look like there's plenty of grass out there now, if that's the only cut I'm going to get with what I've got, I've barely got enough. And if I go giving these guys um, all the best stuff now, instead of this being a, a year old and so so tasty, it'll be two years old when I come to feed it and of no feed value at all. So it's devil in the deep blue sea they've got to eat something this is plenty good enough for them they're not they're really expending an awful lot of energy out there um, I've put the bale in here like I said so that in a week or so whenever I've got to load the steer up I can actually use this as part of the race to kind of round them up and get them in I can always hang another gate on those hinges as well just makes life a bit easier if I've got to do it by myself a bit easier and hopefully a bit safer right those gates are secure you guys can come back in That's enough of that. Go on, get it. Start playing silly buggers. <sighs> so, which do they eat first? Do they eat the nice, fresh, or fresher and tastier and nicer centre of the bale that's in the feeder? Or do they eat the nasty, fausty outside bit of the bale that I put on the floor for them to lie on? Typical. Right, so now I can. Oh, it's good enough to rub it on, though, isn't it? I can now actually let the sheep come back in here now. Um, because if that tank is still empty, they've kind of got no water. So, but now I can let them back in the yard. And if it Piddles down rain again, they can actually get into the shelter. Yeah, number 11 to get his bottle in a minute. Right. I haven't got anything for you yet. Not yet. I can hear them two having a roar round in there. Hello mate. No, don't don't trip you up. Don't trip you up. No, don't trip you up. What are you playing at, you two? Oi, you. Stop it. Okay, so it's just new. Put something new in there. Toy, high spirits, running around. Bramble's probably chasing the steer about. So, wait, stop nudging me, you. I'll go get your ball in a minute. It is only, look, not time yet. Right, I'll let them settle down a bit. Stop dripping me up. <laughs> 